Yo, how's it going you guys? A new age here with another showdown lettering session. But, 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 today is uh, a, a bit of a special one, alright? And it's gonna, it's gonna start to be this way. Not like, let me just explain, okay? Um, throwback to the very start of my channel. Uh, one of the things that I thought would be cool is for those of you guys who follow uh, the website Cerebi.net, uh, the link will be down below in the description. Um, basically, every Sunday they do this thing called Pokemon of the Week, where they choose Pokemon and they talk about it competitively, what is good at and bad at, and like give it possible sets and other options for the sets in like doubles and just its normal tier. Um, they give it other options for move sets and they tell like counters to it as well and all that stuff so i thought it would be a good idea to bring it back into the showdown laddering um for those of you who watched when i did it way back when um i'm not gonna do it the same basically i'm just gonna say all right guys pokemon of the week this week is so and so you can go check out all the information down below. I'll put the link in the description to the Cerebi um, post. But for now, we're just gonna talk about it. So the Pokemon of the week, I forgot to get rid of that. I always like to. The Pokemon of the week that Cerebi uh, chose for this week was Yon Mega. Um, and so I decided to try and build a team around it. Basically, I used um, the information that was given to me through Cerebi as well as uh, Smogin to build a team around Yon Mega. So, the suggested sets from Smogin were like either a speed boost life orb Yon Mega with protect or a choice specs uh, tinted lens Yon Mega with U turn. But I decided, you know, I kind of want the best of both worlds with this one. I want speed boost and choice specs because that'll allow me to come in on something that I may be faster than. Um, or even on a double get the speed boost and then from there be hitting so hard with my choice specs moves like I I wanted it as kind of like a late game cleaner um, So we're gonna see how well we can make y'all mega work Also, I haven't used this team a whole lot I kind of just built it and tested it once or twice and was like all right. This is kind of cool uh, So, you know, I might change it as we go, but the general idea is Yon Mega. So hopefully it's one of those lives where the Pokemon that we want to put in work can actually put in work. Uh, so we got Choice Specs Yon Mega. Uh, I decided on a Trick Choice Scarf um, Rotom just because I wanted to be able to shut down certain things. Um, also good coverage. I got like a little Volt Turn stuff going on here. Um, we got a Life Orb SD Lucario which would be good for the things that could wall special attackers like Yon Mega. Uh, we got a Life Orb, a Natural Cure, Rest, Spikes, Roserade. Um, I always love this combination for Roserade, Rest, and Natural Cure. Because it's fast enough to get off the Rest and heal completely uh, before taking damage from other Pokemon. And then I could just switch out there. Um, I gave it HP Fire for things like Fortress and then Sludge Bomb as coverage. It, two hit KOs, Sylveon, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we got Mega Aggron. Just a support set, um, Stealth Rock, T-Wave, basically like a good speed control and getting up the hazards, and then Earthquake and Heavy Slam, just for some damage. Uh, and then we got a Rapid Spin Blastoise, because keeping Stealth Rocks off is going to be really important. The team is somewhat weak to Stealth Rocks, like I said, I might change stuff, but uh, other than that, Defensive, Toxic, Blastoise, that's all we need to know. Let's hit up some battles. Alright, we got a game, I don't know why, but like... Today, when I've been battling on Showdown, it's taken a bit to like load into the battles. Um, but anyways, I like the idea of Pokemon of the Week just because it gives me like, instead of me just looking for random teams, it gives me something to go off of. So I could be like, hey, I'm gonna make a team around this Pokemon, see how it goes. And it might lead to, you know, me getting better at team building and using Pokemon I never used before. So I kind of like it. So, um... It kind of looks like I could late game sweep with Yon Mega. I guess if I could get rid of uh, Aggron too, Bug Buzz can put in some work. So that's pretty nice. But for now, 
I don't know if he wants to lead Agron and get off his rocks. I mean, he is Mega Agron as well. Or maybe I want to lead Rodham. I definitely want to save my Choice Scarf on Rodham and use it on like Snorlax or Reuniclus potentially. Maybe not Snorlax because I have Lucario. Maybe I'll just lead Rose Raid and get off the spike. I actually more so want to lead Rodham. Just so I can Volt Switch, possibly. I'm thinking Rodham or Rose Raid. I don't know which one. Uh, I don't think he wants to lead Mandibuzz. I'm going to lead Rodham in case he leads Mandibuzz. Let's get it started. So he actually leads Reuniclus. I'm just going to trick right off the bat. Because if I could catch this thing, yeah. Because most of them will stay in here because they're like, you know, um, they're like, why do we have to, like, we don't have to switch. We're bulky. We could stay in and take it. So I'm chill with this. Um, I'm definitely thinking about going for Will-O-Wisp. Hmm. I actually don't have a, or I have a Giga Drain as my grass move. Rosary doesn't have one. So I think I will go for Will-O-Wisp here. Let's hit him up with that, see what happens. And he will actually possibly be faster than us because of the Choice Scarf. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I wanted to get a burn on this thing. I was thinking about not going for Willowis because I figured he would switch into this. Um, and I was thinking it might be better for me to Toxic this Pokemon. But I realized I'm not going to have that much trouble with it because I do have Yonmega. So, um... It won't be the worst deal ever. And I think I'm gonna go into Roserade. I mean, I guess this thing could have Ice Beam. Hmm. How much do I need Blastoise? I feel like Blastoise really doesn't do much this game. But I really wanna get up some form of hazards. I mean, even if he has Ice Beam, like what's gonna happen? I kinda wanna trick again. What's its item? I don't know what its item is. I'm gonna trick again. He might go for Scald, but I think I could take it. Yeah. You know, I got that bulk. Yeah, cool. I wanted to get Leftovers. I like the idea of that better. Because then he for sure can't heal up. Um, so now I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm going to stay in. I'm going to go out into Roserade. Because I don't think Ice Beam uh, will be able to knock me out. I would hope. Oh, he actually goes for Ice Beam. But nope, it does not knock me out. So here... I'm going to get up the spikes because Trick Room wears off this turn, so this works out really well for me. And I'm definitely not going for a grass move. Um, I actually kind of do want to switch out because I don't want him to go for Psychic. Or, what do I want to do? Because I don't want this thing to set up on me either. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we can do to Executor. Yeah, because Psychic for sure knocks us out. Sludge Bomb knocks him out. Alright, let's go Sludge Bomb. Yeah, there we go. Damn, Rosemary coming through. And Life Orb, see, my favorite thing is sweeping Pokemon that also have recovery. I hate, like, because I play random battle a lot too. And I hate when you do random battle and, uh, and they give you, like, a really good sweeper, like Volcarona or something, and then it doesn't have Roost. It's like Life Orb. And you're like... How am I supposed to set up and maintain health on this thing? Like, by the time I'm set up, I'm taking out, like, one Pokemon. Alright. So, even with... Oh, he left. Okay. I was gonna say, even with the Scarf, he does not outspeed it. That's why I was taking my time right there. I was just doing the math real quick. Making sure. So, yeah, we had that game in the bag. Honestly, I... I really like the idea of Rodham with Trick and Choice Scarf just for Reuniclus. Because, like... People stay in because they're like, it's a Rodom, what's it going to do to me? Or if anything, they're like, it's a Rodom, I want it to burn me. And they stay in. And I'm cool with that because Reuniclus is a threat. The, actually, the, I battled three Trick Room teams in a row. So, I guess this team is good at beating Trick Room from what I've faced so far anyways. But let's get another game. Alright, we got another one. This one's going to be a lot harder, I think. Um, probably just because of Haxtrous. And I do feel like he might try and lead Crobat. I honestly want to lead Rotom and just Trick. 
Because if I can lock the crowbat into something, it'll be way easier to deal with. Yeah, I'm gonna lead rod him. Let's do that. And that covers fortress as well. I don't know if I want to volt switch right off the bat or what. Because I think volt switch into heavy slam will knock out a crowbat. So he actually leads Haxorus. And I can see why, just because of the, uh, hmm. Now here's the thing. I think I'm safe to trick this, because if he locks himself into Earthquake, then he can't hit Yamega. If he locks himself into Dragon Move, he can't hit Aggron. So, I'm gonna trick here. And if he's Scarf already, and just knocks us out, I mean, that kind of sucks because Rodham would have been good for a few other Pokemon, but that makes Hexterus a lot easier to deal with. So let's see if he goes for Dragon Dance here, expecting me to switch out. Oh, okay. It was, um, it was the, uh, that's what I was thinking too, why I didn't want to keep this, which that sucks now because, um, Hexterus can definitely set up on this. So he's firing off Dark Pulses here. I might just go Lucario because if he's locked into... If he's locked into this move. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Cairo because we have Justified. A. Alright. So here. I wonder if I can, like, start to sweep him. Just with this. I kind of want to SD. Should I SD? Or is it too early for that? Because if I'm at a plus. Oh, well, it shows it for me. Alright. Well, let's see then. Because being able to take out Crobat right off the bat would be cool too. I mean, if they want to bring this in, then you bringing it in. Ah, uh, E-Speed does not knock it out. That's adamant life orb. But it'll do a lot. Oh, it did knock him out. Oh, this is... F that was for a defensive Crobat. So he was uh, not invested in HP. Yo, Sceptile has got to die to this. I feel, anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, Lucario coming through. Hey, you want to hit us with the dark moves? Bring it on, bro. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me check out. Yeah, he's definitely... Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Haxorus would have died to this too, which is a little unfortunate. I'm just gonna earthquake instead of close combat. I don't want the defense drop just in case it'll knock, um, he'll knock me out. Yeah, I was gonna say if he has bolt switch, he can't. But otherwise, um, I don't really like this here because he could cut up explode. But, huh? I'm just gonna go rot him and bolt switch. Yeah. Because if he cuts step explodes, I don't care. Rodham's already locked with choice specs anyway, so I'm chilling. And he was not cussed out. So now, who do I want to go out into? I feel like Vlastoise is better than Aggron at the moment. Just because I could Toxic and get rid of a Lumberry on Haxorus. Potentially. Yeah, and I could Toxic Florges, and his, um, his Rourke is Scarfed now, not Specs, so it's not going to hit as hard. So he's going Haxorus. I'm going to Toxic first turn, just in case he does have a Berry, a Lumberry. I want to get rid of that. Yeah, okay. And now I'm going to Roar, because he can't knock me out. So what I'm doing here, this is exactly what I wanted to happen, because now... I can go into, uh, I can get him out of there, and then later I can go Aggron and reliably just Thunder Wave him. So that's, that's the plan right there. And this is Florgis, because his Rourke already, no, his Rourke did not take damage. So actually, hmm. Do I Scald here, or do I just go like Rodham or something? I don't want Blastoise to get weakened, potentially, I guess. 
Yeah, I really feel like Rodham does nothing in this game. I'm just gonna go into Rodham. Because if he keeps like switching around or something, I just get to fire. <laughs> How much did that do? That was a crit. 7%. I could just fire off uh, Choice Specs Volt switches. And he's locked into that, so he's either gonna die or has to switch. He's gonna go floor just here. Dang, 32%? That's not even bad. Alright, so now we can go Aggron, and I don't think this thing can touch us. We get Heavy Slam. I'm pretty sure Heavy Slam kills. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this team so far. I'm liking it. Alright. I mean... The only problem is the Omega isn't getting to do too much this game. Just because... It's not that great. I mean... Well, it definitely could have put in work, but Lucario just kind of went crazy early on. So, we're just going to fire off a Heavy Slam here. Um, he can Well, no. Yeah, there, there was no way. Something was going to die or take too much there, and even if he went Haxorus, I was just going to paralyze it and then beat it. So, it was pretty much a wrap from there. Yeah, we, we got it. We got it in the bag. Alright. Let's find us another game, see how it goes. Alright, we got a sticky web team with Porygon, Needle King, Entei, all the threats. I'm definitely going to need to save Blastoise here, but damn, I need to get rid of so many things. Yeah, I don't like this. Part of me wants to lead Aggron. Just for like Galvantula. But part of me also wants to lead Yomega. But I don't outspeed Galvantula. And it could kind of just kill me. Now Omega's not affected by sticky webs anyways. Also, he doesn't have rocks on his team unless his Needle King is a rocker, which I kind of doubt. I kind of do doubt. I mean, maybe I could even lead Lucario, potentially. So I want to see uh, how much this does to Galvantula. If I could just get out of the way. Thunder can knock me out. But we do outspeed him. Yeah, so I'll put him in a situation where, like, you know... If he wants to... I can actually two-hit... Okay, he forfeits. Why? I was gonna say, I could actually two-hit KO him with extreme speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd rather do this, because... What? Anyways. I like this lead, because... I think I was just going to double E-Speed, because if he did want to thunder me right off the bat and knock me out, then E-Speed does 60-70%, to 70%. so he'd be at that range already, and then I could come in with, like, um, Rodham and just finish it off with, like, Overheat or something. So if he did want to attack me right away, he wasn't going to get up Sticky Webs at all. I don't know why he just left, but it's chill. We'll find another game. Alright, we got a Crawdon. How weak is my team to Crawdon? I don't think it's that weak. Or I'm a champ. That's gonna be... He has a lot of things I haven't had to deal with yet. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see. I kind of really want to lead with Rodham. I like leading with Rodham with this team. I don't have really a fighting immunity. Or a switch. Like a fighting resist. I could leave Blastoise too. I feel like I'm in need of for like Infernape or something. Yeah, I'm gonna lead Rodham. Let's see what he wants to start with. I'm just gonna lead Rodham and like Bolt Switch. Yeah, I was thinking he would lead Infernape. I'm okay, he's gonna fake out. That's chill though. Does close combat knock me out? Well, we're scarfed anyway, so we're faster. Damn, that does a lot. Alright, so let's see, Infernape, he's not Life Orb, but let's see, against the Blastoise, oh uh, he doesn't do too much, Skull does knock him out, I'm gonna go Blastoise, Grass Knot does a decent amount, yeah he's just gonna get a Brox, so, alright cool. Um, should I expect him to switch here? I think Scald is my best play either way because I could have a chance to burn. 
Unless I wanted to like double. Okay. Oh no, he just stayed in. All right, well, we take those. So his rocker, I guess, is gone. Um, now we know. Let's see, Lucario. Lucario at plus two. I'm pretty sure I'm not adamant life orb. Yeah, I'm jolly life orb. Jolly E speed on Mega Sceptile. Cause that's that's gonna be like my next threat there. E speed has a decent chance to knock him out. It's more in his favor. If we get like rocks up though, he's he's gone. So I definitely need to save Blastoise. Um, Rodham is definitely the switch here, I feel. I need to get rid of this Chandelure though. I do outspeed him with Lucario if he's not scarfed. Okay, cool. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy that. Um, so now I'm just going to fire off another Volt Switch. Now that I know he's locked into Trick as well, uh, I can go into Lucario if I really want to. I mean, I'm just going to Volt Switch here. It's free Volt Switch. And I could potentially go into something like Roserade if he doubles into Sceptile. And if that's the case, I might go Spikes or just Sludge Bomb. Hey, we get off some good damage here. Huh. Can he attack now? I think he can. Oh, this is kind of risky. Why is he staying in? Unless he... You know what? He... Yeah, he's making the right play. He has no reason to switch because... I'm either going to hit him with a fire move or volt switch, so he is free to just go for a fire move here. I didn't even think about that. Huh. I do still feel like I need Agron. I would like Lucario too because of E-Speed. And Rotom is, or Roserade is good. Roserade is good because it helps me hit Sceptile. See, because right here I'm choosing over Yamega or Roserade. But it's Pokemon of the Week, so I'm going to go Roserade <laughs> and sack it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we went Shadow Ball. Why? Why'd he Shadow Ball? Alright, well, that is going to knock me out, unfortunately. Um, I think I could go Lucario after this and set up a SD. Chandelure. How much does Shadow Ball do to Lucario? Oh my gosh, Shadow Ball does a lot. Alright, I can't set up on that. I mean, I could just EQ right off the bat, but... Nah, I don't like that either. It does too much. I'm just gonna spike here. Yeah. Alright, so here... I think I'm gonna go Aggron, get off the Mega, and just EQ. That'll knock him out. And then once Chandelure is gone, I'm free to Rapid Spin. And then I could start bringing out things like Rodham and Yamega again. I might want to get up Rocks this turn, actually. Chandelure. Mega Aggron. Oh, Shadow Ball still does a lot, actually. Alright, I'm just going to EQ. I mean, Dynamic Punch cannot do that much. I really want to get up rocks. Yeah. He's faster than me, though. I'm going to attempt to get up rocks. Come on, Agron. You got this. Yeah. Alright, so that's really good for Chandelure, because I can start weakening it so it doesn't have as many switch-ins. Um... Puts me in a bit of a bad spot, though. I can't really just switch into anything. You know what? I might just stay in. Hmm. So I don't... Yeah, I'm just gonna EQ. I don't have anything that wants to switch into Dynamic Punch. I don't have a Fighting Switch in. 
That's unfortunate. I'm gonna try and T-wave, I don't know. It's too late now. Agron helped against um, Crawdont. So hopefully we're still able to come through and beat that somehow. Um, I'm just gonna go Blastoise and Rapid Spin. Because if he wants to switch into Chandelure, I'll gladly take that. Because then that's just more rocks he's taking. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. Does Energy Ball knock me out? Let's see. Energy Ball has such a small chance to knock me out. It's crazy. But he could definitely revenge kill me afterwards. So I'm just gonna go rot him and bolt switch. Because if he wants to go for a different, yeah, like energy ball. Wow, that actually knocks me out. That's crazy. I am faster though, naturally. So I'm gonna bolt switch. Yeah, and that'll get rid of the chandelure. And now... I don't even know. I need to get rid of these rocks, but if I go Blastoise, that invites in Sceptile. So, I feel like I have to go Lucario. I'm gonna go Lucario. Um, Sceptile could knock me out if he has Focus Blast. Which kind of sucks, but... I'm doing this so Sceptile doesn't come in. Because I think once rocks are gone, I can actually attempt to win with the Omega, potentially. On Mega versus I wanna see Crawdon. Alright, let's assume he's not choice banded, because that's terrifying. Oh, okay. I think even if he was, we could live a Aqua Jet. And Air Slash knocks out Crawdon from full. So what I'm gonna do here is sack my Rodom. Pretty sure it does nothing now. And then go into Blastoise and Rapid Spin. Last story is 78 speed. My champ is 55, so we should outspeed him. So he's gonna dynamic punch. We're gonna blast, uh, go blast toys and rapid spin. Dynamic punch should knock me out if he is faster, but I'm really hoping he's not because I don't want to play with confusion. I really don't. And if we're faster, we can get off an attack on him on the next turn. All right, cool. Or potentially, you know. So he's gonna knock off here. Um, I think I just want to Scald, because if we can burn him... Well, no, I'm not really trying to rely on that either, but... Hey, getting the burn, that's nice. Um... Because what this could do is let us go the Omega. The only problem is... I don't know how much it does to Metagross. Let me see. Metagross versus Yon Mega. That's Tinted Lens. Bug Buzz does a decent amount, but that's not enough. I want to see a Lucario. Close Combat does a lot too, but I can't beat. Or wait, I want to see Earthquake. Yeah, I can't beat Metagross with that though. So I'd probably have to go. Hmm. I mean, Lucario can potentially win. I, I don't want to take a dynamic punch here though. Yeah. I think I'm just going to Scald. I'd actually. Okay, he bullet punches. Oh, hit myself. Damn it. But he's not going to die. Crap. Okay, wait. I think I want to go Yamega. Because I'll get a speed boost this turn. If he wants to blow a punch trying to knock me out before I go down. Because I could potentially... Yeah. And then I have a stack that I could switch between the two as well. If he goes bullet punch. Yep. Cool. 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 And we get the speed boost. Don't we? Or do we not? That kind of sucks. Alright, well we do outspeed... Um, Sceptile shouldn't be able to knock us out in one hit, and Crawdon can't, and we outspeed Crawdon. 
so it kind of has to aqua jet metagross is the only thing but if he goes metagross i think i might just bug buzz get off the damage and then maybe revenge with lucario but that might put me in a position to lose so he goes Crawdont here i don't know why that does not knock me out Yeah, even Choice Bandit, he only knocks me out with his actual moves. He can't knock me out with Aqua Jet. Giga Drain does knock him out, but I'm gonna lock myself, I think, into uh, Bug Buzz. Because that hits everybody. Yeah. So he can jet me if he wants, but it's not knocking me out. This is a long battle, but I think we might have it. Possibly. It's still gonna be sketchy, but yeah, Jets is not knocking me out. Bug Buzz knocks him out. Bug Buzz also knocks out Sceptile, which we might be faster than. 433. We are faster than it now before it Mega Evolves, which is awesome. Uh, Metagross, can that come in and Bullet Punch me? This is a sketchy situation. Let me see. Bullet Punch does not knock me out if he's Choice Banded. I'm gonna go for Bug Buzz, I think. Uh, is that the right play? Damn it. I don't think it was. Yeah. I think... I think we should have went Lucario there and just EQ'd. Because now... I'm pretty sure we lose to Sceptile. Because we can knock him out right here with the EQ, but we can't beat Sceptile. Yeah, I just threw it. That sucks. I had to switch there. Beat him with Lucario. Or weaken him with Lucario. Then go Yamega and Bug Buzz. Because that does 59. That would have knocked him out. We would have been faster in Sceptile and then knocked it out with Bug Buzz. So that was my bad. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see. The only way we could win here is if he's Choice Bandit and have to switch out. But he's not, is he? Forty-nine percent. Ice Punch. Neon Mega. Why did I do so much? Oh, he has a salt vest. So if he's like, I'm pretty sure there's no way we can live in earthquake unless he's like, nah, that that's not gonna matter because we need to set up on this thing, but it's not happening. Because we have to be at plus two to be able to knock out Sceptile. The only other way is if we dodge a Focus Blast. So I guess we'll rely on that. I'm going to Earthquake here. We have to dodge a Focus Blast then, otherwise we lose. That was my fault though. I totally threw the game and we could have won it there. No problem. So... E-Speed doesn't knock out Sceptile. I have to be at plus two, for sure. And even then... Oh no, it'll knock it out. I'm gonna SD. I have to dodge a Focus Blast. That's the only way how I can win. But if not, you know, that was a good game, and I know I had it. I just misplayed. We do dodge a Focus Blast! We get off the Swords Dance, and we're gonna E-Speed, and that's GG. <laughs> Hey, we got it in the end. You know what? I don't even care because I did have that game. Even though I threw it. So, uh, I guess I didn't deserve to win. But, yo. The comeback. The comeback was real. The comeback was real. 
you know, I might just end it off there. That was pretty legit. We got in a few games, and the team did pretty well. I, I definitely feel like there are certain scenarios where this team does not work well at all, and definitely loses to certain things. Um, but it also lets you work around certain things, which I like too. Um, I like how we were able to work around this team. I cons I'd consider this kind of like a balance like a balance offense something I don't know but I, I did enjoy it I did enjoy it so let me guys let me know what you guys think about Pokemon of the week all that good stuff and uh, we'll have more showdown throughout the week but next Sunday for sure we'll be back with uh, some more Pokemon of the week see what other Pokemon we can make a team around so hopefully you enjoyed until then I'm new age still keep on watching I'll see you guys next time later everybody <laughs>